Hello everyone. Today we will introduce a newly launched product called JCID Eye Detector. This device is very convenient for testing the phone at any time as it's very small and portable. It has built-in battery. When we unplug the data cable, it could be powered by the internal battery. There is a lightning charge interface at the bottom, a USB interface on the top. Now we connect the phone and connect the USB cable for power supply. This sample is brand new without a sampling battery yet. The first function is testing. Test Testing means can detect all information about the phone. We connect the phone with this normal USB cable. Eye detector will autom automatically jump to this inspection interface. Now we have read all the data and it shows 74 points. It shows front camera abnormal and the front camera of this phone is damaged. It's detected. Click here, the file icon in the upper right corner. There will be an overall description of the detecting. In this way, we can determine whether the phone has been repaired or whether the accessories have been changed. Select the testing interface to the right. It's some basic information about the device. Continue start to the next. There are some related chargeable query, including warranty information, ID status, black and, black and white status, network not. When we check a phone, we need to know this information. When we connect the phone, the interface will directly read the phone serial number, or if no connect, just manually enter the serial number to check. Chargeable query need to connect Wi-Fi and login in your account, which is in the setting interface. We back to the home page. Tap setting, tap Wi-Fi and choose Wi-Fi. Input password to connect Wi-Fi. Tap account to login or register. Tap recharge to charge and query the record for charge and deduction. So for summary, for inquiry service, there are three testing functions, detection report, equipment info, and chargeable query. Chargeable query includes warranty information, ID status, black and white status, and network lock query. The second function is a power consumption test. It's kind of function to determine whether there is leakage in the mobile phone. Please set your phone to flight mode first. Close the background APPs. Refresh and turn off the screen. Now let's set up the phone. First close the background APPs, turn on the flight mode, and then turn off the screen. Now we click start test. At the beginning of the connection, there is a current of more than 82 milliampere. We wait for a moment. When the eye detector reads the data, there will be a buffer time. The current is still the one before the turn of the screen. Now the current declines to 43 milliampere. It indicates that the phone do well in power consumption. There is no leakage of this phone. If the current over 15 milliampere in testing, there is probably leakage according to our experience. We can also use a new or standard phone to make a comparison. Till now, we find it's normal when testing result within 50 mA. This is the power consumption test, which can judge whether the mobile phone has leakage, and you can know a general situation of power consumption. This is very useful for those phones with potential problems. Now we stop testing. Let's see some functions of this toolkit. There are skip setting, reboot, deactivation, crash analysis. Let's see the crash analysis. As this phone has no reboot record, there is no crash analysis. If there are worse ever, there will show the crash analysis result. Of course, different mobile phones have different phenomena. The reason for the fault reboot is different. Then the analysis result will be different. Okay, this is the crash analysis. And then let's see the activation. This device in an activated state. Now I click deactivation. There will be a hint. It says you must remember the phone account and password. Otherwise, you cannot activate the phone after deactivation. Now click confirm. The phone now back to the hello interface, which is in active state. This is deactivation. Skip setting is convenient for you to skip some operation. This phone has skipped the setting and directly into the system. This skip setting, skip setting, deactivation won't affect the data in the phone. It's just a change of the phone state. Reboot is simple. Now the phone is turned on. Click reboot. Then the phone turn off and reboot. The eye detector currently has these functions. We will continue to improve these functions through software upgrades in the future. It supports remote online upgrade. There are some related settings in the setting interface. Wi-Fi, language, brightness, boozer, software upgrade, and account management, recharge. Once we have new functions released, there will be a pop-up to notice for free upgrade. Now the system version is V.88 and it shows the latest version is V.99. We tick upgrade and it's now in upgrade. Cut note upgrade requires to connect Wi Fi and do not exit in the upgrade process. Okay, this is all the operations for this device. Thanks for watching.